Nice day outside today, but for those who visited Congaree National Park because of the weather, they may have had to change the way they made their way through the park. Cassidy Byer has the details. You can like splash in the water. <laughs> it's really fun. It's really beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. As spring approaches and weather warms, foot traffic at the Congaree National Park picks up. Yeah, this popped up and never been here before. Saw a picture of the boardwalk, thought that looks beautiful. And it is. <laughs> the National Park is home to 27,000 acres of floodplain land, creating a unique ecosystem and walking experience. Something Chief of Visitor Services at the Congaree National Park, John Manchester, took me through. Flooding is a little more normal during this time of year just because all of our trees are in a relatively dormant state so they're not soaking up all that water. Something the Farah family didn't anticipate. So we like surprises. It's an adventure <laughs> when something <laughs> goes wrong or differently than you expected. So Boardwalk typically will be underwater and all of our other other trails are typically inundated. This year, Congaree has experienced continuous flooding on boardwalks due to higher volumes of rain since late December. We had a flood a little earlier uh, in January that was fourth highest on that gauge's record. According to the water gauge at the Congaree, the flood rate has averaged at 16.8 feet the past five years, and last month the gauge hit nearly 19 feet, something Manchester has not seen often since starting his position a decade ago. It was on the elevated boardwalk. This is only the second time I've ever seen floodwaters get up onto the elevated boardwalk. However, visitors are still able to utilize some of the boardwalk when facing these conditions. The elevated boardwalk is almost always accessible. So uh, about half of the loop, so about a mile and a quarter. Now we're walking in the water. It, it gets deep sometimes, but sometimes it's really shallow. Reporting from Columbia, Casty Byer, News 19, WLTX. Those little girls are not going to like to hear this, but the flooding on the boardwalk will be going down over the next couple of days, and the boardwalk should be full of, fully accessible sometime next week. That is, if it doesn't rain again.